Hi, church family. My name is Alec Correa, and I'm one of the veteran pastors here at Calvary Chapel Costa Mesa. I'm so honored to be able to share with you today's devotional centralized around the theme of death in light of the Lamb. As we reflect on Good Friday, we are reminded of the gruesome crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. We call it Good Friday, and yet as scriptures reveal in the Gospels in the book of Isaiah, Jesus was spit on, punched, mocked, insulted, slapped, beaten beyond recognition, flogged, and ultimately nailed to the cross. Everything Jesus faced goes against the very definition of what we call good. And yet, through the brutal crucifixion of Jesus on the cross, we see God's redemption plan unfolding. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Since the fall of man, sin has permeated the world and corrupted humanity, creating separation between God and man. See, sin impedes the very relationship with God that we were designed for. And as the Apostle Paul wrote, the only way for redemption of sin was through a wage to be paid. And that wage was death. A life must be given in order for sin to be redeemed. The Israelites historically had practiced animal sacrifices to atone for their sins for hundreds of years. They would offer up an innocent animal to the priest to be sacrificed and the blood would be sprinkled on the altar and that individual's sin would be cleansed. Furthermore, in Egypt, the innocent blood of the lamb was shed in order to protect God's people. How important is it that John the Baptist recognized Jesus as the lamb of God? In John 1.29, it says, And John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Behold, Jesus, the innocent Lamb slaughtered. And yet, through the sacrificial death of the Lamb of God, all people have the opportunity for salvation. Through the Lamb of God, all sin is forgiven. Through the Lamb of God, hope of eternal life is given. See, death in light of the Lamb is that Jesus became the perfect sacrificial substitute offering forgiveness and salvation to be poured out for all. And nothing, nothing was going to stop God from making that free gift available for all. We all know in John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. And as the Lamb of God hung on the cross and cried out, It is finished! Death and sin were conquered once and for all. The blood of the Lamb fulfilled the necessary requirement to cover all sin and wash us clean. No matter the sin, the Lamb of God paid the price for your redemption. Good Friday is good because it reminds us of the cross. It is good because the Lamb of God has conquered death and sin. It is good because despite the tragedy of death, the Lamb of God has provided life. As we reflect and remember Good Friday, it is indeed good. May we be encouraged that Jesus, the Lamb of God, has conquered death and brought light into the darkness so that whoever believes will have eternal life and forgiveness of their sins.